hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be a thanksgiving meal plus what i did with some of my leftovers this video is part of a collab with J.A. Chronicles being the host and a few other ladies. I will have all of their channels listed in the description box below so y'all can go over and check out their videos as well. And if you are over here from any of their channels, hello and welcome. I'm so happy to have you and I hope that you decide to stick around. So this is the roast I have. It is a little over five pounds. And of course, it's already pre-cooked, so we're just going to be heating it through. I am going to top it with some brown sugar and one can of drained pineapple. The only reason I drained it is so the pineapple juice doesn't burn in the bottom of the pan. So it's not a big deal if you don't drain it. And then I'm just going to get this covered and put it in the oven on 350 for a couple of hours. And now I'm going to get some eggs started in the Instant Pot for deviled eggs. And I am going to be cooking this entire container, which contains 18 eggs. When I get them all in, I'm just going to add about a cup and a half of water. Then I'm going to cook them on low pressure for, I think, seven minutes. correction five minutes so now that they're done they did sit into a natural release for 22 minutes but not for any specific reason just because i had other things to do so now i'm just getting them put in this big bowl of cold water to sit while i do other stuff so here i'm just dicing up three medium-sized sweet potatoes that i have peeled and washed and then i'm going to get all of these put into the crock pot to make a crock pot sweet potato casserole Now that I have them in the crock pot, I'm gonna melt one stick of butter and then add a half a cup of brown sugar and a little bit of vanilla and then about a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna get that all mixed up really well and then pour it over the potatoes, get them stirred up really well, put a top on it, and then I'm just going to let these cook for a couple of hours on high. And now I'm just going to get the green bean casserole started. So I have three cans of French style green beans that I have drained. I'm going to add to that one can of cream of mushroom soup with roasted garlic. And then one can of original cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to get that all mixed up really well. And then I'm going to add one package of the crispy onions to the green bean mixture. And then I will cook them for about 25 minutes. And then once that's done, I will take them out and then top them with the other bag of crispy onions and put them back in for just a few minutes for the onions on top to get brown and crispy. Green bean casserole was never pretty in my opinion, but it is so good. 
So here I have let the eggs cool and peeled them and I'm just getting all the yolks put into a bowl. And if you saw my grocery haul last week, I got these two deviled egg trays at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna be putting the eggs on those and then I will get started with the filling. We do like our deviled eggs very simple, so I'll just be using salt, pepper, and Duke's mayo. We don't even top them with paprika. We just like them very simple. The family all loves them, and we can never make enough for any gathering. So I just salt and pepper to taste. I do not measure anything, so I will just be adding mayo until it gets to the desired consistency that I want. So here's a little trick that I'm sure all of you have already saw or know of. So I just put all of the filling into a Ziploc bag and then I'm just going to cut the tip off of the corner and pipe the filling into the eggs. It makes it so much easier than trying to do that with a spoon. And I'm just going to get all of the eggs filled and I end up with just enough filling every time. And that's it, quick and simple. Here they are when they're done. And I just pop these in the refrigerator until we get ready to serve them. I have some water boiling and I'm gonna season it with some salt. This is for the macaroni and cheese. So I cooked this entire bag of elbow macaroni, but I do end up spilling about a fourth of the bag once it's done. I was trying to drain them in the sink and my strainer dumped over, so I lost about a fourth of them, but it was fine. It was perfect for the amount of cheese. Well, now the green bean casserole's done. I'm just gonna top it with the other crispy onions and put it back in the oven for a few minutes. And now the sweet potatoes have been cooking for a couple of hours, so I'm just going to give them a stir. And then I'm going to top them with a bag of marshmallows and a small bag of chopped pecans. And then I'm just gonna get the lid put back on it and let this cook while I finish everything else and it will be perfect. I'm sorry, I said chopped pecans. These are pecan halves. And here is the ham after I've taken it out. It's cooked for a couple of hours now. I'm just gonna remove it and put it in the dish that I'm gonna serve it in and get it cut up. This smelled so good. And here is the green bean casserole when it is finally finished. And here I am cheating with the mashed potatoes. My family loves these mashed potatoes and because I felt like I had enough going on, I did not mind using this convenience at all. I just followed the package directions on that. And I got these Velveeta cheese sauces for macaroni and cheese because I wanted to try those out. And I had three packages for this amount of elbow macaroni and it was plenty i just seasoned it with salt and pepper and everybody loved it so that was a win
And once they're done, I just add them to a throwaway pan to serve them in. And here it is, guys. This is our Thanksgiving dinner. We have the deviled eggs and ham. I opened two packages of dinner rolls and just heated those up in the oven for a few minutes. And I have the mashed potatoes. And yes, I cheated for dessert. That is a store-bought pecan pie because I cannot bake anything to save my life. macaroni and cheese and the green bean casserole i also picked up some plastic forks to make my life easier and i got some really cute thankful napkins and some smaller paper plates for the younger people and then some nice large sized ones for the adults and there's the ham after i got it all cut up to serve and the yummy sweet potato casserole. That was it for our Thanksgiving dinner. And on the next day, I wanted to use up some of the leftovers that we had. And by the way, the only leftovers that we had was a massive sized ham bone so i soaked these northern white beans overnight and i'm going to get those added to the instant pot i have soaked them washed them and picked through them to make sure that they were all good so i'm just going to throw them in the instant pot and then cover them with enough water and i'm going to take the ham bone that i had left and just put down into the center and add a little bit more water to make sure that everything is covered and has enough room to cook. And then I'm just gonna cook them on the bean function on the Instant Pot. I don't salt any of my beans before I cook them. I always wait and do that at the end. But I am gonna add some garlic powder and onion powder. That was a huge ham bone. And here is you a little blooper. Yes, that hurt. So now that they're done, I'm just going to add some salt. And this does look like a very large amount of salt. But you have to remember that that is a very large pot of beans.
And now I'm going to start on my cornbread. I did take the easy way out with my cornbread as well because after that dinner that I cooked the night before, I just wanted to do something really simple for dinner. So I'm using two packets of this Martha White cornbread. And I did use two packs because last time I cooked this, the cornbread was just way too thin. And the only thing you have to add to it is water. So I just follow the package directions and I'm going to get that put in the oven and then we will have dinner. So now that the cornbread has cooked and I let it sit a couple of minutes before I cut into it, I'm just gonna get a big piece added to my bowl and then I'm gonna cover it with the beans and some flakes of the ham that have cooked off of the bone. And I like to make sure and put enough juice because I like it really soupy. And that's gonna be it guys that is gonna be our dinner from the leftovers and I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and also don't forget to go over and check out the other ladies videos and let them know I sent you I hope y'all have a great week